unto the woman he said I would greatly multiply thy sorrows in thy conception and sorrow thou shalt bring forth children go to uh, uh, this guy Jabez First Chronicle 4 and 9 I'm on something here. First Chronicle 4. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bore him with sorrow. Go to John 16 and 21. John 16 and 21, and we'll be through here. A woman, when she is in travail, had sorrow because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembers no more the anguish for joy that a male child, man child, is born. Into the world. I want to preach, Amen. Dealing with this, this sorrow and this pain. Look at somebody say that, that there's pain, sorrow associated with birthing and labor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you go birth a thing, mm -hmm, that's pain that associated with it. Don't 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 be, don't be caught up in the pleasure. Of conception, pleasure of being impregnated. I'm talking spiritual and physical too, okay? Amen. Because even in the spirit, we're going to find out this pain with things birthing for God. And if God going to impregnate you in the spirit, baby, that's pain come with spiritual conception as well. Amen. Because there's an enemy to your impregnation, there's an enemy that don't want you to bring forth. What God has impregnated you with. Am I talking to anybody? And just like it is, amen, in, 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 the, in, the, in the physical realm, when, you, when you're pregnant and you, you know, the, the joy of conception and the joy of you getting together with your opposite sex and mate and y'all into, even if you're into sin or even if you are, are, are under the covenant of marriage and God, amen, yet creating the child more, may be more pleasurable. Amen. Then actually going through the term, the different trimester and all this kind of stuff, and you've been pushed out of shape and you put so much pride in your little physical physique and all this kind of stuff. But you know, I uh, know when you get pregnant, you stretches and things stretch and move. Some things you didn't think you had. I'm not talking anybody that had a baby up in here. I can look at your baby, look like you had about three or four of them. But you know, it's look like things happen. I should be getting an amen from you if I ain't getting no amen from nobody. Uh, Amen. Mama didn't tell you about the pain, did she? Uh huh, uh huh, uh. Boyfriend told you about the pleasure because he was gonna, he wasn't gonna feel what you gonna feel a couple months later. Look at somebody tell you, I was tricked. Yeah, baby, you were tricked into doing it because if you knew it was just painful, I know some ladies told me they would never have another baby. That's because of the pain. Hmm. I don't know. I can remember that, up in that room with the baby on the third floor, and I give I give you a prompt. I give you your prompt, baby. You was tough. You was tough because they want to try to stick the needle in your back, and you I'm, you said I'm going I'm going to go through it. I'm going I'm going to endure it, and I'm sitting over there wheezing Willie and, and 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 about to take me a cruise on Fairyland, and 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 I think I took one, didn't I, baby? Huh? She told me to sleep on, huh? But I believe later on the night the pain got the kicking in the baby, huh? Yeah, we had it though. She said we had it though. Oh, oh, we had it. Yeah, we, we pushed it out there, with baby. It came the natural way. But, 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 you know, I mean, I can understand when women get to thinking of everything, looking at you, man, all kind of stuff flashing in her mind, and, and she want to call you things that she don't want to order right now. I can understand that, man, because something about the pain will kick your mind in places that you don't make. Oh, no, y'all ain't talking to me up in there. Y'all look like y'all that pushed it out. Hmm. 
But there's some pain. Look at Jabez's mother. The Bible said that Jabez was more honorable than his brother. That means he, he had favor with God. And the Bible said, why do you name the boy, the, name the boy Jabez? Because there was sorrow in your birth. Amen. I tell you sometimes, y'all young folks, y'all looking at me, y'all y'all just getting all kind of names now, man. I know one family, everybody in their name, automobile, Lexus and Mercedes and Porsches and Benz and, and all this kind of stuff. But you got to understand, man, you got a name, you, the name you put on your kids, amen. So you 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 putting these expensive car names on them, and they living they living like a cheap ride. Y'all, uh, I just stepped into that one, baby. I'm staying. I mean, you 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 name a Lexus, baby. She creeping like a Ford. I got two or three gonna get me, but I might as well preach up here. You got why you, you naming all these baby all this expensive stuff, man, and and uh, putting these names on them, and, and they name Shaka Zulu and uh, and, and Tip the Loot Toop and all this kind of stuff. And you don't know what it, you may have a maniac name for your baby. That sound good, and and you call him Loot Toop Loot Boo, and he may be associated with maniacs, and you wonder why he's watching all these scary movies, and, and he like Jason, and he like Friday the Thirteen, and all that kind of. What would you name the boy? Let me move with y'all ain't. You sure know better pray for rebirth. Amen. Johnny Cash, y'all know the second Johnny Cash dressed in all this black. So he went with a, he went to school with a certain boy. They picked on him all the time and, and he got in fights every day. What get said, what was the boy asked me? What was the boy's name? Sue. Let me move on a little bit. You can understand why he got in a lot of fights. <laughs> okay, okay, let me, let me move on to uh, man, you will get a lot of fight. You come and name the boy Sue, amen. I know mama wanted a girl, but hey, we ain't gonna name him Lucille. I know mama wanted a girl, but we ain't gonna name him Mary. Now she said, because I named him Jabez Copal because his birth was associated with pain. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Man, you got to have the favor of God. Your mama named you, and your name, she named you associated with a, with a painful time in her life. And, you know, and, and she, she had to go through some stuff. But every time she look at you, she's going to look at the pain. Y'all ain't talking to me up here. Because your name reminds her of that moment of that time that she went through great pain and suffer and sorrow. And so she had no other name to give you. She just want to name you hell wrong. And the Bible say amen, but look, look, look at the favor of God because you, your, your, your mama put a curse on you and your mama put something on you, amen, that associate her with the dawn of her life, the, the sorrow of her life. And, you know, uh, uh, mama a uh, did that, but the Bible say he has more favor. He was more favor and more honorable than his brother. And, and sometimes God had to step in to, to evaluate the situation. God will have to step in, amen. Even though you burn somebody else's pain Because it would be painful For me to know That I remind my mother of her pain Times in an hour Of her life that she's trying to get over But every time she look at me And I come to the reunion And I come to the dinner table And I come, amen, to Thanksgiving dinner And sit around the table And she look at the son James And she look at the daughter Mary And she look at man Billy And she look at Paul But when she look at me I remind her of her pain and I said God I said Lord you're going to help me and do something for me and the Bible said he prayed unto God and asked God to give him an enlargement of his territory and that, that's a blessing of God but I want to preach uh, what I'm preaching is before the birth and doing the birth and doing the pain there's a joy that comes after the pain mm -hmm. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, how do you know, amen, that you're close to your breakthrough? How do you know that you're close to your day of deliverance? I want to ask you a question. Have you been experiencing any pain lately? Because I come to tell you, pain is going to be associated with the day of deliverance. The Bible declared, I'm not going to preach long because I can tell y'all don't want this today. I, I'm not going to preach long. But the Bible say, amen, a woman with child, Sister Red, and when her eyes 
hour has come. The Bible declare, amen, there's something about the birth of the child that will take away the anguish, that will take away the pain uh, of the pain that she went through. Look at somebody that said joy and pain. Life is full of joy and pain. But there's a joy that comes after the pain. And the Bible says she goes through so much pain because her hour has come. And I come to tell some of y'all you're going through and you're catching so much. Could it be that you just abrupt away from your hour? Could it be you just a time away from your hour? Could it be you're closer to your day of deliverance than you imagine? How far somebody said, I'm going through so much pain. It's something mean I'm getting ready to deliver him. Oh, I'm getting ready to bring forth this thing because the pain that I'm catching now, the hell that I'm catching now is unbearable. It's like it's like pain I'm feeling now like I never felt before. It could be you just close to your deliverance, and you're close to your deliverance. And what's happening is you done this, you done misassociate your deliverance day with the calendar, and you're trying to think now. I'm trying to put it together now. It was nine months away. It was at seven o'clock. It was in in the back seat of the Chevy. It, it, it was under of the bridge or whatever it may be and you're trying to backtrack and trying to predict the day but somewhere your days and your memory has been crossed I gotta t- I-, I can tell you baby don't try to backtrack don't try to remember when it happened just remember you're feeling pain and notice amen pain is a sign that this thing about to come pain is a sign that your hour is here and when your hour is here that's oh you can get ready now for deliver you might as well buckle down you might as well grab a hold to something hold on to something hold on to your faith baby because you can't reverse this thing you can't reverse this pain you might as well just get ready get ready to deliver to tell somebody i'm about to deliver Tap me up a little bit, baby, because y'all, y'all, y'all don't want to have no church up in here today. Just give me just a little bit. Don't, 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 don't give me too much where I can mess up. That's good. Take your seat. Now, I want you to take your seat because I feel like somebody about to push this thing up out here. Now, look what the Bible said. We, 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 we got to stop associating pain with trouble. That's the problem that we're having with the church. That's the problem we have with the church property. We have we're trying to show shape pain with trouble. And what happened is you round wrong people and you round people that don't understand my pain is not a sign of my trouble. My pain is not a sign of my sin. My pain is not a sign of my struggle. My pain is a sign of deliverance, baby. I want you to look at the joy that's gonna come after this deliverance. Uh huh. Because I don't care how painful it is now, baby. We can celebrate for some joy gonna come out this thing. See what happened is you've been hanging around folk don't understand pain. You've been hanging around folk don't understand pain. They always trying to put your pain to your setback. Put your pain to something that you done. They even tell you you self inflicted the pain. Take your seat. But whoever in their right mind self impregnated themselves. I do a lot of stuff to myself, but I can't do that. Uh, and see, my pain is associated with birth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm going through so much pain because I, I, that's, a, that's an adversary outside the womb. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I preached about the womb a little bit. You got to protect the womb, baby. Amen. Because that's, that's, that's something to go on in the womb. You, you, can't, you can't let everybody deal with that with the womb. We'll preach that on the day. Because you got somebody, you got to protect that, that womb because that, that's, a, that, that, that's a transformation. That's a revolution there in the womb. Mm-hmm. Amen. Okay, let everybody deal with dab in there because it's a mess up the process what God trying to do. God trying to bring a revolution up in there and you just got somebody digging and dabbing. Check your seat. We'll preach that next Sunday. But notice this right here. People don't understand what God is doing. You, 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 you got a bunch of folks. You got a bunch of folks. You got a bunch of leaders, preachers, bishops, apostles, and pastors preaching to congregation that you're going through because of sin. And it may be true to some folks. Understand that? But if you, if you can't make that biblical co pastor. Huh? You can't, you can't make that biblical. You can't make what I'm going through as a result of my sin. 
Because you, you, you can be right in the will of God and catch hell. I don't care about that. You can be right in his hand and catch hell. I'm saying? And now they want to associate our pain, Melanie, with something that we done done. We associate your, your pain with, you know, you know, uh, God brought all that stuff over on her because she's just so disobedient. She don't want to hear nobody, don't want to obey nobody. And God brought all that pain up on her. God brought all that pain up on him. And he just going to have that pain till he get it right. Well, who, who, who talking to you? Who talking to you? I'm talking about I'm catching I'm going through so much pain because I don't want to hear nobody. So much pain because I don't want to be obedient to nobody. Baby, I'm about to give birth. I need somebody to kind of understand me a little bit, man. I'm a, my feet are swelling, my head getting big, my stomach getting big, my butt getting big, everything getting big. <laughs> and he talking about hey, amen. I'm getting big because I ain't been listening to nobody. I'm getting big because I'm about to blow something up out of here. Huh? And what happened is, what happened is, what happened is, thing the Bible said, Kelly, that, 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 that her hour is about to come. And what happened is, when her hour is about to come, you got to understand, shift the mindset here now. Because when the pain hits you, the first thing you, first thing that comes to your mind, I never had a baby, but I can imagine when the pain hit, the first thing you want to know is this baby going to be all right. You want to know, baby, is, you want to know the doctor, everything going good because I'm feeling so much pain. Is the baby all right? Look like I wouldn't hurt like this if the baby was all right. And the doctor give you confirmation, said the baby is all right. But you can, you, you got pain, you got pain. And I believe the bigger the baby is, I believe the bigger the vision is, I believe the bigger the vision is, I believe the more pain you're going to have. Baby, you probably got so much pain in you because God got a great vision for you. Look at somebody say, God got something in me got to be big. I, 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 I'm serving the little God. And that's why people don't understand. They tell about, you know, you know, she wouldn't be going through this. He wouldn't be going through that if they wouldn't do this and that. They got nothing to do with it. I got, but they got everything to do with God. See, I'm about it's, to do not going to preach long here. Am I talking to somebody? Now the Bible said this, brother. The Bible said this, brother, that when she come to her hour. Oh, I'm about to get happy because I believe I'm on my way. I've been counting this thing, man. I've been, I've been in, I've been in this thing now. I've been in this thing labor. I, 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 I didn't push the nine months, baby. I, 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 I've been in this thing labor for years, and you've been in this thing labor for you, you up to fifteen hours, seventeen hours, and you know, you know, John uh, Nicodemus asked the question, hey, "Amen." Could he come out? Can he go back in? So you know, good and well, what's in you ain't gonna come out and go back. So look at somebody say, "It got to come out, baby. This thing got to come out. It, it, it can't stay that long. It can't stay that long." So if God didn't pray to you and you know God put something in you baby look at somebody it got to come out it got to come out it, it can't stay there it's not designed to stay there forever it got to come out the incubator it got to come out the walls I feel like preaching about some sugar walls baby because this thing is sweet and it got to come out and he oh my god and you know it's about to come out because I'm spending some pain now I can't move it, it feel like a man perilous I feel like I'm about to be paralyzed and stuff you know you just laying there can't do nothing. Doctor said pushing all you can do. Now he said you got to push hard in there. You got to push hard in there. Take your seat before you take your seat. Ask your neighbor, have you pushed lately? Uh -huh. And what happened is, what just happened is, what happened is sometime, sometime, I'm about to help you on this one right here. Sometime, in order to help you, the doctor would tell you to change position. Mm. Y'all missed that one though. In other words, he'll tell you you will have to reposition. I mean, you, you don't you may not have to turn far, but you're gonna have to move something to try to assist you in the pushing. I mean, you've been laying on your back for four hours. That that that, that try to turn that's a little bit this way. Oh, just a little bit that way. Look at somebody say, every little bit help, baby. Every little bit help. And you got to deal with this pain. And, and, and now this pain and hit you. But look what the Bible said. The Bible declares uh, that after a man, her hour has come. Huh? And the Bible says she about to bring deliverance. Huh? And about to push this thing out. Huh? Then look like it goes from pain to joy. Huh? Oh, Frankie told you that, baby. It goes from pain unto joy. Huh? 